Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again for another swing and hopefully a home run on a beer review. This one is a beer from Yeasty Boys, I am out of New Zealand. <clears throat> um, I haven't done many Yeasty Boys, if I'm being fair. Um, the, one, the ones I have done have been a bit hit and miss, but I saw this, picked it up and then read then didn't even read it, just picked it up at the shop and then realised what I've got home what it is and I'll go through it with you and I got it out of Barton's and Ashton Makerfield and it's Yeasty Boys' Dirty Jam okay I was attracted to the this and this and all that type of caper it is an Umiboshi Goes Pickled Plum Sour there it is it says on the side plum, raisin, sweet tart, salt, zest, mahogany right this is a 4.8% ABV beer says so there and the best before is the 9th of March 20 says so at the bottom there the flavors on the side plum raisin sweet tart zest all that is, is fine it's the mahogany mm. right let's have a look so ingredients of water Pilsner malt Munich malt Vienna malt oat malt special B dextrin malt cinema Red plums, dark plums, salt yeast, lactobacillus, plantainium. This beer is suitable for vegans. There you go. So, have another, say, have another little look. Plum sour beer. I'm hoping it's going to be dark. I'm hoping it's going to look like a, a porter, stroke stout. I'm hoping it's going to taste a little bit like Christmas with a nice tarty feel to it. So let's just give it a crack <clears throat> and let's see what we've got to pop it off. Okay, so being the last one, what have we got? Well, it looks like Coca-Cola. looks like Dandelion and Beardock. The head that was there was a half a finger of just slightly tanned head, but that has gone, and it looks like dishwater. If you've got really dirty dishes. It looks like a Coca-Cola. Cloudy Coca-Cola. There's a little bit of carbonation. As it gets a little bit thinner across the top, you can probably just pick that up. There's a clear crackle. Not sure the camera can pick that up. Here we go. Let's get a nose to what we can smell. I was hoping to be able to smell some kind of fruit, and I can't. I was hoping to be going to get the raisins. I hope I was going to get plums, and I just can't get it. It's... I can't get anything off that. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. There it is. There's nothing on the aroma at all. Nothing's come off it that suggests plums, raisins, anything like that. I am. Um, carbonation. It's got something the same combination as a as a as a Coca-Cola, as a Dandelion and Beardock, as a lemonade. I um, body again, it's a sour bit well you assume it's a sour, but it goes so it's gonna be really light bodied and it really is. Taste wise, it tastes like a Christmas pudding. Only with the tart end. There's a bit of plum there. There's a bit of rich raisin. Like it's like when, it's, when you've had fruit that's been uh, macerated in some kind of um, like a brandy or a, a, a sherry before you get it, before it goes into, into a Christmas pudding. A bit of salt on the back end, which is quite nice. It kind of takes away the sharpness. Not that it's very sharp anyway, it's not. It's not a... Uh, it's not overly tart. There's a little touch there. We take a big mouthful. You do get it. But if you sip on it, there's not a big. There's not a lot there. Probably a little hint of cinnamon. Mm. 
it is sweet. It is a touch tarty. There is salt at the very end. I'm not getting any kind of mahogany, I wouldn't even know. I don't suck on shelves and wood. But it does, it does remind me of a macerated, veg, macerated vegetables, macerated fruit, plums, um, raisins, sultanas, currants, a candied peel, all that type of stuff, mm -hmm. excuse me, that you get in your, you get in your Christmas pudding. That's been sat in a brandy. That's been sat in a, it's in a, in a whiskey. It's got that, that aroma to it. Not that I'm getting any kind of brandy or whiskey, but that's what it makes me feel like. If you were to throw a bit of chocolate in, that'd be lovely. It'd be, it would be really nice. Just a bit tart, bit sweet. But it looks awful. I mean, that looks terrible to me. There's nothing on the aroma. The taste, they are, although they're there, of the plums, of the, of the raisins and, and other 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 things. There's definitely cinnamon in there. I've got it, I don't like cinnamon. I, um, they are subdued and you feel they're held back. Okay, so Yeasty Boys is Dirty Jam. This is the Umaboshi Goes. Pickled Plum Salad. Do I like it? No. I don't like it. Um, although you're picking up what it says on the back in these flavours here, it's just not... I've had, I've had better Goes beers, to be fair. Although this is my first plum one, I must admit. Um, do I like it? No. Would that bad again? No. I'd have to pay, pay four quid for it. No. Would I recommend it to friends? No, 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 no. This is for me is a, I would think this is probably maybe a work in progress. <coughs> That's if Yeasty Boys didn't make this anymore. I um, and it wouldn't surprise me if they didn't, if I'm being fair. Um there's so there you go. So Dirty Jam, if you've had the unfortunate um you know, you've been unfortunate enough to get get one of these now, give it a go. Um say what you think. Put a comment below, or if you've been fortunate enough to get one, tell me what you think. Uh, comment below, please. Uh, there will be a link to the Yeasty Boys website also below. If you're watching for the first time, please hit the subscribe button, it's down there, I think. Um, do that for the video, do that if you don't. This is going to go into the recycle bin. And I'll see you on the next one, hopefully, with something a little bit tastier. Hail the ale.